bottom. All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, we're back, back on the, the 161 that's been freshly rebuilt. <laughs> um, we have all our parts that we need to put this engine sort of back together and get it swung in the car. That is our plan for today. Yep. And we're gonna attack it pretty hard. Uh, we got a clutch, we got the flywheel machined. Everything is painted. Michael's painted the silver parts on the gearbox. Yeah, we did and, that the other uh, day. It makes it look brand new. <laughs> yeah, just, what you do is you just paint over the dirt. As long as the dirt's silver, it sticks there. It's stuck there for 30 years, so it's not gonna come off, you know? So it looks, it looks really good. Yeah, it does actually. And everything else is painted as well. So we've got intake manifold there, we've got the cross member there, everything else, all the other parts are across here, they're all cleaned up, ready to go. So it's a big day of putting this engine back together, putting new gaskets in and putting new Welsh plugs in it, and then hopefully swing it in the car. Yes, that's the goal for today. We haven't got a lot of time, as always, but yeah. we're gonna see how we go. Let's get into it. All right, so what are we starting with? I'm gonna start with these Welsh plugs. I'll punch these old ones out and then replace these ones. Why are we replacing them, Nate? Well, they had these ones specifically, had like a big drip mark under them. They, look, they could have been replaced and then maybe the goop has dripped, but we thought we might as well just replace them now. It saves the headache of doing it later, especially because this is intake and exhaust manifold. Yep. There's no chance of getting to these after this, so better to save to do so now, which I think they are already brass ones, which they are, so yeah. they're not gonna be rusted out, but. And they look really good when they're brass on the painted finish. They do, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's not going to hurt. Whoa, still got water in it. Why are you peeing on me? <laughs> well, you picked you picked the lowest one. Yeah, it's... well, I'm being smart, I'm, uh, you know. Yeah, working your way down. <laughs> This is like operation. I gotta keep grip on it. Okay. Yeah, they look pretty good. To be honest, we probably could have got away with not doing them. But we're here now. Mm. See, the thing is, the issue is now, you gotta get it out. If you use that, you should be able to pull it through. Alright. I hope. There we go. How they look? They're fine, but. Yeah, they're fine. Why not? Plus, like we said. It's all about looking like it's been rebuilt. <laughs> like it's been rebuilt. And that is a quick way to do your Welshies. So there's two at the rear as well too. You know what? Do you want to do them? If these look so good, do we need to worry about it? Probably don't. <laughs> Goop it up. Goopity goopity. Goopity goopity. Alright, I need a socket to fit those. I already got it. Oh, he's all over it. Well, this one you can just bloody pick it up by it. How good's that? And thwack it in. You gonna thwack it in it? Do you want a dead blow hammer rather than a yeah, probably. sledge? <laughs> <laughs> Your weapon? Weapon of choice. There you go. Yes. All right, good luck with the others. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bungs are all in, they look good. Moving on now. So you want to do the water pump next? Yeah, we'll do a water pump and then we'll do the thermostat. Um, and then we can do the exhaust, the exhaust and intake. And yeah, there's not much left after that. No, really, <laughs> there really isn't that much. I love bolting engines together. I know. I could do this all day long. This has been the day we've been waiting for. Yeah. I'm gonna apply a heavy amount on this because it's very corroded. Yeah, my need. So them. this is gonna take up. The Just slack of the corrosion. A little bit of extra help. That's it. You know what they say. What do they say? Do your best silicon the rest. <laughs> this stuff is the best. We've built all our engines with this. Never had an issue with this. And it is called Permatex Aviation Former Gasket. Best stuff. Oh yeah, mama. That uh, brass fitting to the left there leaves a little bit to be desired, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we might look at replacing that. <laughs> Ooh, 
exciting. I get to the water pump already. Man, I just love new parts. I just realized I don't have bolts. So we have a new thermostat for it, just a stock standard one. Obviously nothing in this has gone performance, this is literally just to get it on the road and registered. So it's not quite as exciting as it could be, but nonetheless it still is an engine. Oh, he likes it thick. <laughs> I did go a bit hard then, didn't I? Let's go that way, you reckon? I uh, don't know. Hmm. We don't know which way this goes. You took a photo of the engine before you pulled it apart, didn't you? Nope. So what do you do when you forget which way your uh, thermostat housing goes? <laughs> you do a test fit. Perfect. Goes the other way. <laughs> Trouble is, now the silver in our water pump and the silver in our thermostat housing aren't exactly the same colours. Well, this has already gone better than the Gemini thermostat because they're not stripped. Which means we don't have to engine swap this thing anymore. <laughs> we can leave it. We definitely can't leave it. I think this is the weakest of the weakest six cylinders. The only trouble, no, this is a 138. Well, I think we'll move on to, might as well finish this side of the engine. So I reckon we'll move on to the exhaust and intake. Yep. They're, they're one. On to the big item. This is the exciting bit. Yeah, this is what's gonna make it look, look like an engine again. Schmicky. Look at, make it look schmicky, exactly. You know what's gonna make it look really good though? That rocker cover once that's on? Yeah, I know. I, I cleaned it all up, I just, uh, sort of cleaned it. I wanted to do more. high fill it and make it look a bit more pretty. Oh, yeah. oh, that looks gross. I know, I know Nathan's itching to step back and see it. <laughs> I am. All right, where's those bolts? I just want to look at this thing so bad. I know you do. It's kind of amazing what two days has done to this engine, hey? Yeah, like how you can go from what it looked like to yeah. this, which literally, not not a great deal of cost when you think about it, because a lot of it's just paint and, and you know, gaskets. blood, sweat and tears on the on the grinder, yeah. on the grinder and the wire wheel. Yeah. And gaskets. Like, yeah, we're putting a bit more in like a clutch and stuff, but this is a lot for an engine. I mean, this is not a concourse build and it will flake off and it will get damaged, but you know, it still looks pretty good. It looks awesome. Man. That is going to look so good in there. I can't wait to put it in. So, all right, so now we're going to put on our harmonic balancer. Um, this is our old one. <laughs> that is not good. It's kind of missing a big <laughs> bit in the middle here. So it's obviously come apart, so this is no good to us. For those that don't know, the way harmonic balancer works is there's an inside bit here that goes onto the engine, a line of rubber, which is vulcanized to this outer area here, which is in what runs all your, your belts and stuff, but it also balances the engine. That's the idea of why it's rubber. But when it comes apart, it no longer balances anymore. So we have to get another one. So last episode, I don't think we showed it. Nathan pulled the old one off. Um, so we got a new one. Now, interesting fact about these that we think is correct. There's no bolt that bolts this in. So normally in a two, like in a 253 or whatever it is, they have a bolt which goes into the crankshaft and then that pulls it in and also is what secures this to it. Now I did a bit of research because we're like, well, we don't have that bolt, where is it? There's no thread in the crank either. Apparently these are just a press on fitting and they don't come off. So we're just gonna have to do the same, press it on and hope that it doesn't come off, I guess. I wonder if we should put a bit of seal on it. We should consult the book, to be honest. Oh, that's gonna whack on easy. Yeah, but is it gonna stop? And like, how deep do I go? That's the question. And also, where's the timing mark? <laughs> Surely it'll seep somewhere. Surely it'll stop. So Nathan got a little happy with the paint can here and he's painted our seal. So we'll see whether that leaks. That might be an issue in the future. Um, right. The reason why we're not gonna worry about it right now is because we don't have another one. <laughs> Oh, I like butter now. Ooh. That yeah. sounds bottomed out. That sounds like it's bottomed out on something. Well, I reckon we put the pulley on at the top to find and out. see if it's lined up. Yeah, I reckon that's what we do. Yeah. You know what I just realized? How do you turn this motor over with no bolt there? Hmm. That's true. You must have to put bolts we in. We must here. have, yeah. And then just, oh yeah, you could just put a bolt and then put a screwdriver in. Yeah, but know. like, why wouldn't they put a bolt there? Yeah. 
You could probably turn it over by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Lined up ready to join you. Uh, I've got the assembly for the fan. This is exciting. There we go, that looks better. That looks better, doesn't it? That looks so good. <laughs> I'm getting the action shot. I'm a big fan of this. Big fan? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at replacing the points in this thing only because in the last episode we've lost ignition. We didn't know why we lost spark. We have a feeling it's got some of the points. Could be anything in this thing because it's pretty cruddy and gross and probably needs a bit of a reco. But for the point of trying to save some money on this thing, we're going to try replace points because it just turns out that I had a set of genuine points just laying around. So we're going to throw these in. Never done points before, so we're going to learn while we do it and see if that works. And it, if it doesn't work, well then worst case, we haven't really spent any money on it. We'll just swap it out with a new one if this doesn't work. So come with us while we try and figure out how to do points. So I've done a little bit of reading in the book on how to do this. So this bit here. So these are your points here and this has to come out. So we'll pull this out now and hopefully don't drop that very tiny delicate bolt. Hopefully. All right. So that comes out and these are the old ones now. Apparently when they fail, they pit. Which I don't know whether you guys can see that on camera, but there's a big pit mark oh, right is. in the middle there. Yeah. And you can see where there's a mark there as well too, where it's like transferred over. So this genuinely could be the problem. All right, so we'll replace that um, and swap it over. Now, I did a little bit of quick reading, like I said, and one thing it said is to put a little bit of smidgen of grease on the cam. This is the cam here. High temp grease, so I'm just gonna put a little bit there, not a great deal. That just stops it from wearing out the cam. I've never done points before, I've just heard a lot of like people talk about points and how they're really finicky and as Nathan said the other day, they're like the whole thing when it comes to the distributor, like if you get this wrong, it ain't gonna work. So I gotta get this lined up to its high point, which is about there, and then we need to get this to fit. So I've looked at the book that we got here, the spec says that it needs to be between for a Bosch, which is what this is here. Point gap needs to be 0 0.482 to 0 uh, 0.635 mil. So I'm just going 0 0.5 dead in the middle, or kind of in the middle-ish. And we'll work with that and see what we can do. So I've got my point set, I reckon I've got it just about right. It might be a little bit bigger than what I was going to do, but I was working on the low end anyway. It seems to be within range. That's the important thing, so I shall plug that back in. Seems to be right. Um, yeah, I guess that's points. Could be this thing. They can. Dense or capacitor condenser, whatever it is, we'll find out. But so we didn't order a gasket you can because usually buy these, but yeah. we didn't order one and we don't have one, so we're gonna make our own. So we've measured up what size are our filler, and now it's gonna cut it out. We're just using a bit of leftover diff gasket from my HQ, I think it was. Oh, for when we did the limited slip swap, yeah, the perfect limited slip swap, that yeah. went really well. Yeah, I remember that. That's good, Dad. How good is the rubber mat though? The rubber mat's genius. See, your gasket, that's bloody ripper, you know? Yeah. It's a diff gasket too, so it's nice and thick. It's thick. We don't have a rotor button though. That's the one thing that we don't have in the minute. Um, we're waiting for one to come. So once that arrives, then we're going to throw that in. The reason why we're throwing the distributor in now is because we can put everything in, even put the plugs on and the leads on and the rotor cap. And then when the rotor button comes, we just drop that in. And hopefully she should work. All right, so we're sorting out our compression stroke right now. That looks like that's probably it there. Intake. Bang. It should, should be, be it now. Should be there, yeah. Yeah. I had it on before. That should be it. Alright, that makes sense. In our mind. We've always got this wrong, but we'll find out this time whether we get it if right. If it doesn't fire, we're going to stop, turn, turn it 180. <laughs> and figure it out for once. <laughs> Just leave the dizzy loose. Just leave it loose, yeah. But yeah. now we know we're on one, so as long as nobody touches that, we're on one. That's good. So we've gapped these to 0.85. That seems to be around standard, so we'll see how they go. 
Putting a fuel pump in it now, we decided to go for a new fuel pump just because the old one was fairly questionable whether it was actually going to work or not. So we'll pop this in. Put the oil back in, ready to go. Yep. The finishing touch, Nathan. Now we just need a sticker on the side, hack shop rebuilt. <laughs> Damn, that looks good, huh? Yeah. That's everything, isn't it, that we yeah. can put on? That's it, yeah, well, there's no point mucking around with the rest. So we should probably explain, we don't have a carby because the carby is getting sent off to be repaired and yes, rebuilt. It's getting rebuilt. Should that have been orange, you reckon? It, uh, honestly, in the photo, it is, it is orange. We could always hit it with orange now. We could. What if we give the rocket cover a coat now, and then you can just sand it off later? No, because I'm going to sand it off. <laughs> <laughs> you know how long it took me to sandblast that? I it bet, there, yeah. Huh? Now, can you get it out without rubbing it? Oh, not bad. That looks better. Now it looks like a cat. Oh, that looks great. That looks way better. Yeah. Haynes Manual, uh, when you want to do your updated cover, come see us. <laughs> Alright, well now that everything is buttoned up on that, and we have an orange thermostat, uh, it's time to start prepping the gearbox to be mated with the engine, so that means the engine's going to come off the sand. And we just keep on moving. That's it. Don't scratch the paint. So we took this down to the local brake and clutch shop and he resurfaced this for us. So it should be right to go on now. As long as he gave me the right one back. <laughs> we got there. Bit of Loctite? Bit of Loctite. And uh, see how we're gonna go. While you're watching me do this up, you should head over to uh, the Hack Shop Garage website where you can sign up, you can buy merchandise, you can be a part of the club. You can put your car on Club Reg. Yeah, great way to support the channel. And as well, we also do giveaways every month on uh, Kingcraft tools like this. Specifically tools like oh. this. <laughs> We're actually giving away that one this month. This so month. So yeah, make sure you head over and sign up for your chance to win that toolkit yep. and others in the coming months. All right, can you um, stop me from spinning? All right, what we have is a brand new XCD clutch. Throw the new thrust bearing in because that came with a new one. Grease all that up, put all the mechanisms back together, and then we can hopefully slide it all together. Lovely! I'm ready, what about you? Yeah, I just need you to hold this. Yeah. Oh, Pivot! Pivot! <laughs> I'm trying to hear the clean. <laughs> All right, yeah. now it's time to do the best fun in the manual that you'll ever do, which is try it. <laughs> yeah! See, you have to manage the heart, man. Stop that! So beautiful. So the motor is going in, which means we're getting really close. Car to get an engine into, come down. Yep, just a little bit, wee bit, don't do down. Yep. And come back with it now. Yep, yep. Alright, I'm gonna come up with it. Uh-huh. 
Just say when, because I can't see anything. That's it, one in. Yep. Is the other one in? Yeah. That's it. That's it for this one. The engine is back in the HG where it belongs. It looks so good. Man, we've still got a long way to go, but the engine is now had its freshen up. Everything's brand new on it. Now we can start looking at running fuel lines and stuff like that. And look at getting this thing firing um, once the carburetor comes back. Yep. But yeah, the next time you probably see this car, we'll probably be focusing on, on our favorite job in the world which is brakes. Yeah, because we've got a few things gonna finish with that. Exactly right. Uh, and then, you know, get back to the engine and that, because this is where we want to get with this car, is the engine sitting in, it running, so tail shaft in, running, driving, and then it's gonna go and get the rust repairs done. We're, we're getting there. Which we're trying to get a hustle on, trying to get some cars back in the shed. Yes. So that's where we're gonna end this one. It looks beautiful. Maybe just take this off, because this makes it look like crap. Just pretend like we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our guard covers? <laughs> I'm gonna paint that up. I'm gonna get a decal kit for it as well, so it looks all well, original, original. original. Yeah. But if you have liked this episode, make sure you do like and subscribe. Thread test as well too. We should point out the thread testers over there that we have. We still have them in stock. So if anybody wants some, grab them now. Like Michael said, the thread testers are back in stock. What's the word of the day? Rebuild. Rebuild. <laughs> it's rebuild. Rattle can resto. Rattle. Didn't we do that on the last No, episode? we haven't done that. We did Grime. Right. Rattle Can Resto on this episode. If you comment Rattle Can Resto, we'll pick three lucky winners that get a Hack Shop Garage sticker pack. Yep. Um, because, man, we are the Rattle Can Resto kings. At I the gotta moment. admit. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. Look you at know. that. Look at that. Well, and it looks the thing brand is, new. We keep stepping up our game. Like, the HQ, the LSQ was like, <laughs> but then this is. <laughs> I can't even get that shot so high. That's, a, that's how good we've stepped up the game with rattle cans. I know, right? <laughs> but no, it looks killer. Alright. See you in the next episode. Mm. You've got like your little doctor's surgery, you got your little table there. <laughs> he's adjusted his seat height again, people, so he's, he's at eye level again. That's it, you want to be at eye level. Because you can see the threads, you know? You can see if they're going to work or not. I'm actually gutted that we don't have the filter top. Filter hat and the rocket cover. Yeah, I know. Because it would have looked so good all together, hey. On the stand, yeah. Just Photoshop it. Just go AI, generate, air filter, and <laughs> <laughs> see what it comes up with. Oh, it's painted orange too. Damn, we're bang off. Orangey yeah. red. I'd say it's red, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's orange. This is actually a good book. We should probably reference this a bit more than we it do. It is a good book. Thanks to Adam for getting us this book. Yeah, thank you, Adam. We could have rebuilt a fuel pump. Look, this is what back in the days when it wasn't just like, don't drink the contents of the battery. Tragedy! Oh, dude, you could turn this right over my hand. That's how you started. <laughs> 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 Contact! <laughs> See, if we had an auto, it's just, you know. No issues here. There's no machining anything. Automatic is trouble-free motoring, everyone. Yeah, yeah, you say that now. <laughs> How about you throw a spray challenge here, buddy? <laughs> it went good. We ended up hopping into a manual HQ and... <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, no issues. These bloody manual cars just... <laughs> That'll be it, don't care.